Hey everyone! So, it's been about a month since I started YouTube and I already failed making a video every week. But it's for a good reason. And it's because I've been learning a lot from the people at Think Media. If you don't know who they are, I suggest you check them out. At the time of this recording, I have 8 subscribers and 62 views. And I'm going to continue making these monthly updates just to track my progress throughout the whole year. So if you're curious about my progress, hit that subscribe button. So one of the most important things that I learned about having a YouTube channel is that you really need a niche. Niche? Niche. Niche? How would you pronounce this word? Is it niche or is it niche? Comment down below. And my original plan was to make YouTube videos about making YouTube videos. And as you can see from my second and third video, that I veered off that path so fast. I was just trying to chase what was popular and just kind of making videos for the sake of making videos. That's why I haven't made one in a couple weeks. So if you're one of the six people that saw my WandaVision review, I'm sorry, but there's gonna be no follow-up. But if you wanna talk WandaVision, I have thoughts. So apparently this is how the YouTube algorithm works. As you post videos, YouTube is going to start figuring out what kind of people would want to watch your videos. So if you're posting videos about YouTube, you know, creating content, making videos, and then you start posting videos about reviews, YouTube's not going to know who your audience is. YouTube wants you to be successful because if you're successful on YouTube, you're the reason that people watch YouTube. And that's how YouTube makes money. <laughs> but you gotta help it before it can help you. Help me help you. Let it know who your target audience is. And don't confuse it. It's easily confused. Another lesson that I learned from Sean Cannell at Think Media is to remember why you started making a YouTube channel in the first place. And for me, it's because my 66 year old mother bought a business during the pandemic. And she was like, I can't do this without you. So me being the good son that I am agreed to help out. I wasn't doing much. So now we have this brick and mortar store. It's a beauty supply. And she tasks me with selling things online. So I start looking into eBay, Amazon, Shopify. And where I landed was I needed a YouTube channel. Having a YouTube channel is like having free digital real estate. It's the final frontier and it's the modern gold rush. And because of the pandemic, e-commerce has risen 44% in 2020, which means people now more than ever are consuming content online and more than ever they're buying things online. So right now I'm working on building up my YouTube portfolio and I'm going to keep posting videos of the lessons that I learned along the way and also about how to make money online. So if you like this video, hit that like button and check out my other videos right here. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.